everybody, it's Franco here, and I'm back with another Clash of Clans video today. And uh, if you can see my base right now, and if you watch previous videos, you'll see that it's actually a different layout than usual. Um, and my old layout was uh, this one with just a giant wall around the perimeter. Um, and I thought I would switch it up because uh, I faced a lot of these double wall bases. And um, what happens a lot of times is someone just drops their Archer Queen, or a, a hero, to drop trophies like what I'm doing. Um, and a lot of people aren't smart enough to, one, take the building then, uh, because it's a double wall and no troop or a queen or whatever can reach over there. I know the warden was a bad, a bad example of that one, but, um, so like this person with the queen, uh, they won't be able to shoot over. So the whole point of them not getting anything, not even an army camp or anything is the minute that someone gets a single building, you get a village guard. So when I drop down in trophies down, like, to like 650 or something um i don't want any village guards whatsoever because i want to gain back those trophies as quickly as possible so that i can um proceed to drop more and win more defenses and if you don't know that's actually how i do my defensive wins and everything so with this double layer wall then what happens is less people actually end up getting a percent on me so i actually end up getting uh less shield or less village guards so that the attacks just keep coming in back to back so you see four hours eight minutes ago four hours seven minutes ago and then whatever a gap up for some reason but uh yeah so it ends up working out pretty well but then you always get people like this anyway that i assume he's just going to use the giant arrow on the queen yeah so that's exactly what i do i shoot the giant arrow across but a lot of people still haven't figured that out and it wouldn't matter if I was using this base or this base. The giant arrow is still going to get building, so um, that doesn't really matter. The thing is that this base does kind of suck on defense, so I do get just random people using E-drags. But that's not to say I wasn't getting that before. So, um, yeah, I mean, this new base I think might be better for what I want because sometimes I log on after I drop down to, like, whatever, 600 trophies or something, or 650 trophies, I log on after like an hour, and it's only at like 850, but now I log on after like 20 minutes, sometimes back up to 900, so th these trophy drops and ascends can be really quick with this new strategy, um, but yeah, I think this new base will help me out with that in the long run, um, I think we're about halfway through the season now, 13 days left, and uh, I took 500 defensive wins so far, so I am chipping away at that unbreakable achievement and everything. Um, and I wanted to uh, show off our war log here. So we actually just finished Clan War Leagues. I think I talked about that in my last video, but um, I want to show off the current war that we're in right now. So we just started off strong. And uh, yeah, I just secured, so if we look at the war events, I actually just secured the perfect war on my second account here. Um, and I wanted, before I get into the war, actually, uh, I want to show off the new members that we got. So if we go to the, the highest town hall, we have this, so the strategy that I, I'm not sure if I actually talked about it in the video, but I, oh yeah, I did. I talked about it last video, sorry. Uh, so we raised the town hall, town hall 16 required, and it's still anybody can join. So any town hall 16 can join. And we actually got this guy to join, Anthony, um, who is pretty good. Like, it, I know his, whatever heroes might not be the greatest, but... Uh, right, because the queen is... Oh, not not the greatest. I got them mixed up, queen and royal champion. Yeah, so they're all at least max for Town Hall 15, and he looks like he's close to max for Town Hall 16. Um, so it's great to, that the strategy of uh, raising the required Town Hall is working. And then we had another guy join whose name was uh, Dead Silence or something. Um, and he joined with two accounts. One was a fully maxed Town Hall 16. The other one was a Town Hall 16, but not fully maxed. And uh, that's who is our number one guy in the war right here. And he did his uh, attacks and everything. So there's his base. Just show it off really quick. He did his attacks and everything. Um, and then left and said, I'll be back. So who really knows if he'll be back or not? Uh, whatever. I mean, still, like, even if he doesn't come back, it's still good. Because it shows that people are still willing to join that are very good bases at Town Hall 16. Which is what we need for Clan War Leagues. Um, and... <laughs> Of course, he goes in here with the most broken strategy in the game right now. Um, root Riders and Valkyries. You just throw in a couple Root Riders, throw in a couple Valkyries across the base, and it's almost a guaranteed 3-star. Um, I think I just saw a video of uh, Clash with Eric. He's a Clash of Clans YouTuber, and he did this exact same strategy, 
gets a, a max Town Hall 16, and you can wipe it in like a minute, like 20 seconds. Like it's very fast, just the Root Rider and Valkyrie combo for some reason, um, and it's also very reliable. So that's how you know it's a broken strategy. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm glad this guy's going with the flip broken strategy. I don't really care if you use it or not. Um, but yeah, he gets the three star here, and he actually gets the six star war for us, but then proceeded to leave. So. Uh, Hey, I'm glad he did his attacks before leaving, which I, I didn't know that was like on purpose and everything. And who knows if he'll come back, because uh, I don't like how you can't check how many people are in the clan when you hit the clan tab while you're watching a replay. It's kind of annoying, um, but you used to be able to see. So it's, I think we're at 47 people right now, so we have three open spots. Um, but yeah, like we'll see if the clan fills up and everything. But so far, usually what happens is the first war after the clan war leagues is pretty bad usually it like it ends very badly because we're we're just not used to it and we're used to clan war leagues too many people have packed their mirror too many fails but with this one we started off with this attack that i'm showing right now and obviously it ends up being a three star here whatever gets that little gold sword there then um but with him taking one and two we actually it's such an advantage and also this enemy clan uh, just kept running bases that were super compact like this. So let's just see what attack strategy goes in with. Goes in with, it looks like Super Archer Blimp, actually, which is kind of interesting. Oh, there was a hole in the base there, so that might have influenced his decision. But, um, I don't know, he just goes in. Yeah, maybe Super Archer's at the same time. We'll see. I'm actually interested to see what comes out of this blimp. I haven't watched it. Oh, no, it was a giant balloon bomb. <laughs> Oh my god, I, I kind of forgot. I was watching this live, I forgot what he put in there. That was actually pretty funny looking uh, when I watched it live and right now again, obviously. But yeah, he obviously clears up this base here. But then, uh, so we have Ares, Guardi, and me. And I just logged on pretty quick, and I was like, hey, I'll just take these bases. So I took number three and four, so I get high or bonus, whatever. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, I just wanted to clean up these bases because they were not the easiest and I didn't want like the people below me to try and I was like whatever I can do this and with it super compact it's like very susceptible to super archer blimp so that's what I went in here with I mean not too difficult I just kind of planned the strategy out for a couple seconds and I actually kind of failed it because the blimp got hit with the air sweeper I was hoping that lava hound would cross across the air defense get hit with the air sweeper and the blimp would just miss that wave of air uh, but it didn't end up working like that, so I'm not sure if I even get the Town Hall here? No, I don't even get the Town Hall, so this is almost a fail. Um, I really had to hope my heroes clutched it up here. I shot the Queen Giant Arrow through the Town Hall, and it still had a little sliver. I was just being too slow with that Battle Builder, so if I would've shot that Giant Arrow maybe like a second or two earlier, it would've cleared it out or whatever. Uh, but yeah, I don't have my king. If you guys don't know, I upgraded my king in the last video, and uh, I don't use all my heroes in uh, just regular wars. Uh, I know other clans and stuff judge people, and they're like, you have to have all your heroes up. One time I was in a clan, and they got so angry at me for not um, having all my heroes up in war. And I was like, I got a three star. Like, what do you want me to do? Like, I think at the time, I... Uh, didn't I was upgrading like maybe my king too and it was pretty close like I was queen walking and all this stuff and it was like very intense and then they were like hey next time have all your heroes for war and I was like why like it's just regular war like obviously clan war leagues I'll do that but I don't know there's so many clans that go so hard in this game and I honestly don't really understand why um so yeah this one I tried to run a little bit more casual I think someone in the chat the other day asked like hey like can I still be in war if I have heroes upgraded? And I was like, yes, of course. Like, it doesn't matter to me. Um, I just play this game for fun, too. It's literally just a game. So, uh, yeah, so I go in here on number... This is the first attack that I did. Number four against number four, attacking my mirror. Um, huh, it's funny. The Super Hunters actually survived the Scattershot blow. That's actually wild. Uh, maybe they survived the Scattershot blow if there's uh, the Scattershot splash, not the direct hit from it. So, uh, yeah, that Super Archer blimp can we say got a third of the base down? <sighs> That's kind of ridiculous. A third of the base down without using a single troop? Just using the siege machines and the spells? Um, yeah, that was a little bit crazy to be honest. Like, how could I not, how could I fail this attack? Um, and if you don't, if you haven't noticed in my deployment bar, we still see I haven't dropped the Royal Champion yet. So uh, this attack I went in and when I logged on, the Dead Silence guy 
three star number one and two, or maybe just number one. So at this point, like, when the number one guy three stars the number one, like, you already know that the war is going to go pretty well. And then I went on, and I was like, oh, man, I'm just going to swag my Royal Champion. Not even place her down the entire attack against my mirror. I was like, this is going to be an easy war. Uh, so, yeah, I'm glad we had this almost, like, easy war. Uh, like, the first war back. And I really think we can start back this war streak, especially if we have another Town Hall 16 in addition to Ares. Um, because if Ares happens to fail for whatever reason, then we have another one for cleanup, and it also just pushes down the attack so that everybody can attack significantly lower, even though that's not what I did here. And in the deploy screen, no Royal Champion deployed. Yeah, I, I just kind of, like, just took it right to him there. And then we have our number five guy, number seven. Leo and Andrew are very consistent. And, uh, yeah, everybody else just ended up cleaning up down here. And Cardi just attacked recently, <laughs> number three attacked number 13, because Ares and Guardi still haven't used their attacks. So, and Brian, like, we still have a lot of attacks up top that haven't been used. So, yeah, I think you guys get the point. This war has just been pure dominance on our end um, against a level 20 clan, which is kind of interesting. And I love clans like this, like, when they have the most AIDS clan description in the world. If you aren't social, active, friendly, loyal, or good donator, and it's always like something like, donate 500 troops or have a ratio of 18 to 1 to get promoted to leader for 5... It's just like so stupid. Like All these guys that have all the rules and the description and everything, I think it's the cheesiest thing ever. That's why with my clan, like I try to avoid that because I'm like, the cool clans are just like, they have nothing in it. So my clan literally just says, sorry man. Because I remember in original Sorry Man, I know someone asked us about this in the comments. Where what is Sorry Man 1.0? So if you don't know, ours is Sorry Man 2.0, um, and this is Sorry Man 1.0. And the reason we started Sorry Man 2.0 was because this clan died, and this was the original clan that my girlfriend in real life Seiko later joined as soon as she started the game. It was like a suggested clan to join, um, and then it started dying. I think I was in the last war. I was in this war the 436 days ago war on Franco Mac. And then I was like, Hey, it's been like three or four days. Let's leave. And then they never started another war. So yeah, we left at the perfect time. And then I was like, Hey, what should we name our new clan? And I love this clan. It was so nice. And everybody was so friendly and nobody cared. And it was, and I was like, that's what I want to make my own clan about. So that's why we named it uh, sorry, man 2.0. And uh, hopefully we can get this war streak going. Cause I want to keep perfect war after perfect war after perfect war after perfect war. Um, and I actually didn't check, right? Oh, what is the clan castle? I actually didn't check, but yeah, I think this Anthony guy yeah, has opted into war too. So yeah, hopefully we get some more Town Hall 16s. If you're watching this video, there is three spots open. If you're Town Hall 16, feel free, feel free to join. We could use some help in Clan War Leagues, of course. Uh, I want to get promoted to uh, Crystal 1. And the reason might be really stupid, but I want to be able to buy this contender statue. I haven't gotten this one yet. Um, I know it costs 500 league medals, and I might consider buying it, but I just want to know that I can buy it. Like, something as stupid as that. Um, but yeah, we're, we're starting off this new event here. I know I'm covering a lot in this one video. Um, and if you're wondering how f I'm so far, 1,200, I think it's kind of a lot. I don't really know. In barely any time. Um, what I do is I just do my classic farming, like I was saying, or trophy dropping. And then, I don't know why, but so many people still have their town hall on the outside. And when they do, I just drop a singular super, yeah, singular super dragon. Um, and he takes out the town hall and the battle. And how this event works is you get cubes for getting a star. So 150 for one star, I think 300 for two star and 450 for three star. And then you get a bonus for using a super dragon. So I just drop a super dragon, get 75 ice cubes or whatever. Um, and then I just throw them back to the front. And with the 30% training discount, like I'm always going to have, yeah, where do you see it? Uh, reward list. Uh, I don't, yeah, claim. So I have 30% training boost so far. Um, so yeah, it works out pretty well. And uh, yeah, with this event, if you don't know, you get constant Super Dragon boost. So it's kind of kind of nice. I, I don't know if I'm actually going to use the Super Dragons in the next war attack. I might because that's kind of the army I trained up. I don't know if it would really work well with Super Archer Blimp. But uh, yeah, if you're lowish in trophies like Crystal or whatever, you can literally drop down the silver like I am now. Um, it's kind of weird how I'm in the clouds a while here, but you can drop down to silver like how I am now, 
and probably finish this event in like an hour, I would guess. So like, just, watch this, just drop Super Dragon, Warden, and then there we go, Town Hall. Um, and then we get 75 more free ice cubes. I know you get, 75 isn't that significant because you can get 150 for uh, just getting a star. Um, but, I mean, it's, it's some extra, like, why not just do it? Uh, but yeah, if, if you're low in trophies or people have their town hall on the outside like I am here, this event is kind of going to be such a cakewalk, honestly. Um, the other ones I used to, like, throw the giant arrow through, which also did kind of help, but you only got a, a low amount of these medals when the uh, event is early on. But I think I'll finish this event very quick, hopefully, depending on how busy I am. That's why I haven't been uploading much. I have been a little bit busy and everything. Um, I'm so close to upgrading this healer puppet, too. I can't wait to get the next um, tier. How many more do I need? Probably, like, a hundred or so. Uh, but yeah, get in the next tier so I can get the glowy ores and upgrade the healer puppet to hopefully the... Well, not hopefully. I'll get her to the level where she gets, um three healers pop out so if you don't know if you don't know like right now she actually only has two pop out right there um but yeah let's get some more of those ice cubes and everything and uh yeah i think that's it for the video that's all i kind of wanted to cover um thank you guys for watching if you made it this far in the video and i will see you in the next one peace